we're going to talk about making money with digital products. Now, what are digital products? That's your ebooks, that's your audiobooks, that's your online courses, that's your videos. That's a whole lot of stuff that is a digital product. Hold on, let's let's move this back a little bit. All right. Cool. We got both Muhammad Ali's in this and I'm going to explain some stuff to you guys that is going to be really, really different. One of the big things with digital products is, hey, how can I get a digital product? How can I make a digital product? How can I put out an ebook or how can I do an audio book, right? A lot of people want that information, but it's not really the stuff that you need. And I'm going to explain that in a minute. Hey, this is Glendon Cameron, founder of Hustlers Kung Fu. Be sure to subscribe and be sure to get on my email list for good stuff that's coming. Now, let's go in the beginning of how to start with digital products. Let's take my first digital product, which was an ebook, e PDF, right? Now, when I did that, I knew something that many of you just don't know or don't want to appreciate. I knew that I had to get traffic. Now, this is the key to selling all digital products. You need to get traffic. I see, like uh, when I was doing Gumroad, like 2012, people were like, hey, is Gumroad a good place to put your stuff? Yeah, but you still gotta get traffic there because at one point, I was making 50, 60% of my money from Gumroad, but I was directing all of the traffic there. Traffic. It's not about your ebook. It's not about your online course. It's not about your audiobook. It's not about any of that stuff. It is about the traffic. That, hands down, is what you need to get to make money online selling digital products. So let's really talk about how did I get traffic? Now, YouTube, this right here, this, this, this right here, this, this, this lovely little box is how I get traffic. Now, one of the things that I do is I have to just continue to stroke the fires, uh, do these things that keep y'all watching because if I get enough traffic, I'm going to get sales. Traffic and sales are proportional. They're definitely, there's a correlation. So let's say you have this great product, right? You've got this wonderful ebook. And it's a lovely ebook. It's a great ebook, right? But you get no traffic. There's like no traffic. Nobody knows about it. No one's going there. It, it's just, mm, but it's great. It's awesome. It's amazing. It's the best ebook ever, right? Then you have this piece of crap, right? <laughs> it's 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 like a PDF. It's like 12 flimsy pages. It goes for a ridiculous $39.99, right? But they can get traffic. They can get traffic and they just throw traffic at it. Traffic all day long, traffic at night, traffic on the weekends, and whoa. They make money. Great book, no traffic. Crappy product, lots of traffic, right? Now, what if you had a great book and lots of traffic? That's the key. And I'm going to keep saying that because everyone gets caught up in, well, what if I put my ebook here? Well, what if you do if, you, if there's a lot of traffic? Now, we'll, we'll talk about Amazon in a minute. Now, Part of the thing with getting traffic is understanding what your targeted audience wants. First thing is, let's go with my book, Making Money A to Z with Self Storage and Auctions, which is still on Amazon. You can go check it out. I knew that once I got enough traffic that people would like buy this book. I did not know that storage wars, auction hunters, all this stuff. I didn't know that was coming on. That was just like, wow, you know, really, really cool. 
but you have this book and you you you're like okay do i put the book in a traffic stream that's already developed let's say that's one of the reasons that you know the niches i forget like how to make money how to lose weight how to get a boyfriend how to get a girlfriend there's like 10 niches that just never go away because people consistently have this problem so those sources or niches already have traffic built in it's just you got to tap into it with the right type of copy with the right type of products the right type of presentation long form a sales letter short form sales letter whatever you have you you, you got to figure out how to tap into that traffic because it exists it's already there now what i did was i created my market and i created my traffic which i didn't really understand that what i was doing was pretty hard you know because i was just like i'm gonna write my book i'm gonna write my book i'm gonna put it out there i'm gonna do this right and then it's gonna be really really amazing that when my book and my thing gets put out there and then i just put my head down and went to work and i was like this thing doesn't work this thing doesn't work this thing doesn't work this thing doesn't work there was a lot of stuff that i did that did not work it just didn't work but i was just like i'm going ahead i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this right i could beat this i could beat this and i did but the thing is i was woefully ignorant to how to develop traffic what it took to develop traffic and i'm gonna explain you're better off and i'm gonna give you an example into the gloss i'm gonna say that into the gloss g-l-o-s-s -S. it's a blog it's about makeup now i know you're going like glenda what does makeup have to do with traffic it has a lot to do with traffic all right so her name was emily west she created this blog and she got it up to 300 400 500 600 thousand dollars no well 600 unique hits per month she got way more money than that and she built this blog from scratch but she knew people and she got up to like 1.2 million hits to me um maybe yeah, about 1.4 1.6 something million hits then she went to this venture capitalist and this lady wrote her a check for a million dollars now i'm telling you that that if you can get enough traffic before you have a product people will buy in because there's like there's traffic here it's like wow you know she's gotten a lot of traffic because traffic getting getting traffic like that's hard if you have a blog or if your blog is popping 250,000 unique hits per month you can make 80 to about 150,000 a year just to show you you know if that traffic is properly monetized to show you how hard it is to get traffic. Now, if you're getting like 500,000 hits a month, woo! And that's just with a blog, you know, without a direct thing that you're selling. Now, if you're getting like 500,000 hits per month on a direct sales channel, you could literally make two or three million a month. So, now listen to what I just said. Half a million, 500,000, plus you know with into the gloss 1.6 if you're selling direct and you can develop like that kind of traffic oh baby just hold on you print money you just print money so before you create any digital product you need to get traffic you need to know who's going to be interested in this product why would they buy it how much would they pay for it and then you get you can get ready because essentially what happens is you got these people and they have these stars in their eyes they're like oh all starry eyed right and then they're going into the wilderness of the internet and it's just like i got an ebook right i'm gonna sell this ebook i got an online course i'm gonna sell this course like i i pretty much don't even participate into the groups of online course developers because they all miss this point if you got enough traffic you can sell toilet paper if you have enough traffic you can sell marbles if you have enough traffic you can sell rocks 
And then they've got these wonderful courses. They spend so much time and energy and effort into developing these courses, right? And then they pull them up and no one buys because they haven't developed their traffic source. Now, I've beat you over the head with this for a reason. Whatever you want to sell, whether it's an audio book, whether it's an ebook, whether it's an online course, whether it's uh, content like this YouTube channel or content on your blog, you need to develop traffic. Now, I'm going to jump into some other stuff and let's see. I got this crazy. Oh, that, that looks kind of smooth. Whoa. So let's see. What do we have here in the chat room? What's up, Jay Fleming? What's up, Monica? Fui, what's going on? Good afternoon, Archangel3579. <laughs> Good afternoon, Digiforce. Donkey, we are here. JK Tyler, what's up? What's going on, Lamode? The Wild Jones Report, hello. Gents, well, forget how to create, how you can sell it. Can't sell a product and wants to sell it to. True. Glenda Thomas, artist, hello. Valencia, hello. I was wondering about the content of my digital product would be, so traffic is much more important than content. Yes, it is way more important. What's up, Tamara? Charlatan, my email just popped seconds ago. Hey, I, I'm not playing around. I'm doing these things. I'm rolling them out. Space Donkey, book coming soon. Congratulations. Uh, Ganji, create the shittest product and get the trap. Got you, you think you're joking, right? Ganji, you think you're joking. When I give you an example. When I was going into my, at the time, there was this book group. You know, how to write books for the writers, right? And I said, writing a book's hard, but you need to devote 80 to 90% of your time marketing. This wasn't to marginalize how hard it was to write a book. It was just to tell you how much promotion that you needed to get into this thing. So you, you think you're joking, but you like write because you're going to spend most of your time promoting. Omar Gavin, sorry, I haven't caught your name yet, but a recent follower and right now I'm at work. So I have much time to watch the live video. <laughs> okay, Mormar. Patty got you. What's up, Carlton? What's up, Henry? What's up, Latoya? What's up, Cher? Uh, that's Muhammad Ali, Joshua. Yeah, it's, it's definitely it. But we're talking about digital products, creating digital products. Still trying to figure out, figure you out. You're not direct to, huh? You're still trying, still trying to figure you out. You're not direct to me. I don't understand what you're saying. Um, put that back up there. Okay, so let's talk about. Thanks, J.R. Pulse. Now you, you, you got. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I, I don't. I really don't know what you're talking about, Paul Davis. I mean, seriously. I mean, use your words, but. Essentially, it doesn't matter what your product is if you can get traffic. And this is something. Okay, I don't know why Siri's like popping on. Oh, <laughs> okay, I don't know. Uh, essentially, it doesn't matter what your product is if you can get traffic. It does not matter. And that is one of the things that many folks do not tell you guys. It's like, um, you, you'll see people who are sweating out the details of a book or you'll see them sweating out the details of a course. It doesn't really matter because I know from experience that, you know, going to Ganji 88, I sold a shitty product. My first book had typos. My first book had all kinds of stuff. And I made 62 grand in the first 11 months with that shitty product. Why? Because I got traffic. Now, I probably would have did much better. If I had gotten, you know, more traffic, if I had did things better, if I had, you know, an editor, I probably would have did 120,000 or maybe 130. But the point is, you need to work on the traffic first. I, I don't care what anyone tells you. I don't care, you know, what G whiz widget or whatever this stuff is. You have got to work on the traffic because your ebook can be good. And it can sell, and your ebook can be great, and it can sell. But once again, 
that missing ingredient that so many of you struggle with is traffic. And it's not going to disappear. It's actually going to become even worse and much harder to get because as we go further into the internet, you know, internet 3.0, 5.0, all this other stuff, then it's going to be harder and harder to command of attention because one of the things that I looked at it doing, I was going to just like start over with some new channels and I realized that YouTube is doing crazy stuff with people's traffic. And I said, you know what? I'm going to stick where I'm at. I'm going to do what I'm doing. And it worked out really well for me. But I was getting ready to make a critical mistake by jumping over here and doing some uh, some crazy stuff. Now, once you, you know, let, let's go with him into the gloss. You know, you can check it out. She took two to three years to build her traffic. Now, I want you to think about that. She took two to three years to build her traffic. She went ahead and she created a product after her traffic was built. Now, I want you to understand me. I built my traffic and my product concurrently, you know, at the same time, concurrently. That's a big old word, right? And it's your choice. You can work on both at the same time or you can build one, but I can tell you, creating the product before you create the traffic is always gonna leave you somewhat disappointed. It's gonna leave you messed up. It's gonna leave you really hurting because it is such a hard thing to do when you're selling a digital product because then, let's get into the whole digital product thing. It's about trust. And so, Tyron Spears said in Africa, it's about trust. So here I am, this guy on the internet with this book that's saying, hey, you can make $100,000 in six months, right? You can do that, right? And then you're like, hmm, it sounds good. But I don't know about that. And see that I don't know about that is going to knock out 95% of your sales because these folks don't trust you. They just don't. And you can put out all kinds of stuff. And like I said, trust is a rare commodity online and anywhere. It is crazy. Because uh, if you go to to the 100,000 to 600K, uh, 600, 100,000 to 6K, story on the, on, the, on the webs is his parents was rich. So he didn't really do anything. He just used mom and dad's money to perpetrate the fraud. And based upon the fact that he has not done anything since, just saying, you know, that's another thing. So uh, a lot of you guys want to go ahead and create a product on just create it and slap it up and put some paid traffic. Okay, here's another thing about paid traffic and with your digital products. Bad, all the paid traffic in the world is not going to make a lousy offer convert. I don't care how much money you throw it. It's just not going to convert because it's a bad offer. Now, what's your offer? It's your presentation. It's your, your cover. It's your opening lines. It's, it's so many things that I'll, I'm going to do a separate video about that. So just be sure to subscribe to get that. And then you you got to, what's the word? You, you got to be real. You have to be honest. You have to be transparent. And then you still have to continue to put out content, continue to talk about the subject. Because another thing with you know digital products is many people are trying to climb mountains with no mountain climbing experience. Every now and then, someone will make it to the top. But most people are going to uh, freeze on base camp because they don't know what they're doing. And that's nothing wrong with not knowing what you're doing. But when you're like trying to say, hey, give me this money. I need this money. But you don't have the knowledge base to hook them up. At some point, it's going to be really, really disappointing on both sides. So let's see. Uh... Uh, let's see. What's whoa, whoa, hold on, Paul Davis. I'm driving. That's funny. 
Uh, deleted user. We are talking about digital products. We're not talking about that. What's up, Zonus? T King, the courses will be there. Linda Harris, what's good? Uh, Isaac, not talking about that. Deleted user is paying for traffic just as good as organic traffic growth. Paying for traffic is better than organic growth. Let's go, you know, into the gloss. She grew organically, but she knew what she was doing. If paid traffic forces you to get your stuff together, it forces you to make certain decisions. So paid traffic in many regards is better than organic traffic. And I anticipate in 10 years, everybody's going to pay for traffic. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong, but I think that's where we're heading. Uh, Niz, Nisi Dunn tried to help other people to your videos and this knowledge. Everybody ain't loving this. Thank you, Nisi. Uh, v. Hain Desai. I've started making good affiliate sales from YouTube traffic to my simple website based on your advice. Thank you. Good deal. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Samantha Gump, new subs. Sure. Well, welcome to the family. All right. Hood Discover. Paul Davis. Okay. Good deal. Good deal. Now, I went ahead and said this because essentially you can create any product. You can create an ebook. You can create an audio book. I'm not even going to even tell you how to get into that stuff because without traffic, it doesn't make, doesn't make it. Because if I put like how to get traffic to your book, you know, a lot of people wouldn't have came in. But Let's see. Um, go in with. You know what? Let's do this. We're going to stick with the Emily West deal and walk you through her thing. She created traffic for two to three years. Now, a lot of you are going to go like, I, I don't want to do that, Glennon. I, I, I really don't want to do that. And I'm going to tell you something. If you don't do it, you're probably going to regret it. Because I think the best way to do this is to start blogging, start doing Facebook, start doing YouTube, start doing Instagram, just start putting your stuff out there because it's going to take you a while to get your footing and your seasoning. Because if you know this, like Hustle Camp and the thumbnail, it took me like two and a half years to develop that. I know you're like, what? It took me two and a half years to develop that. So part of you going out there and doing your thing is you've got to get your reps and your seasoning. And a lot of people don't talk about that because let's say you come on out here, you put some up really hot, really, really slick, and then you bounce because you don't have anything else. It's like when you earn your way, you have more reps, you have more time, your, your, your stuff gets better, you know, it gets better. So that was just it, because like I said, this is going to be a playlist. And I'm just going to pick a topic every day until however many is done. And then I'm going to finish this because this is hands down the most important lesson that you need to learn about making money online. If you can get traffic, whether you have a product or not, you can get paid. You can have a product. You can have the best hookup in China. And you still will not make any money because you need traffic. That's why, you know, people go to eBay and Amazon and other places because the traffic is already there for certain products. It's not there for all products. But if you develop that traffic on a product that doesn't have any traffic, that's all yours. I'm, I'm here to tell you, it could be life changing money on that Let's see. What's up, Sylvia? You can watch the replay. It'll be coming back in a minute because I'm about to finish this up. So for all of you who want to leave now, you can because we're going to go to the sales pitch. No, I'm just kidding. Um, if you haven't signed up for Hustlers Kung Fu, Life Skills, Hustle Camp, Weekend Hustle School, be sure to do so. These are paid courses to help you develop the basis for a firm financial foundation. And then, you know, this is the deal. First, we balance you out. 
go ahead and get that budget together. Then we figure out what your net worth or lack of net worth is. And then we teach you how to start a business. You got to do those things in that order because if you don't, it's going to be kind of crazy. So the links below, you got two ways to get in. You can pay the $13.50 and you'd be off to the races or you can pay $250 and you have a prepayment plan. Now what, what prepayment plan? Yeah, prepay, prepay, prepayment plan, which is you don't have access to the courses until you pay in full. We've actually had some people go ahead and accelerate their prepayment plans and now they're in there. And I do that because I don't want you going out and using credit cards and I don't want you getting in all kinds of trouble just to get my courses. I want you to hustle, save up, and do it like that. So that's the reason for the prepayment plan. So with that, I will catch you guys later. Be sure to subscribe to you know, the channel. Be sure to subscribe to the email list. And if you feel that Hustle Camp can help you or the Weekend Hustle School can help you, hey, go ahead and put those that money in there and you can make more money, like a lot of money. So with that, I'll see you guys later.